Hey guys and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft GAA Stadium Showcase and today we will be looking at Fitzgerald Stadium in Kerry. It was built in 1936 and was renovated in 2009 and it has a capacity of 38,000. So let's head on in. So this is what it looks like. It's quite big. I think it's the biggest one so far. Uh, it's another one where you don't come out through a tunnel in the main stand. As far as I know anyway, the only pictures I saw, uh, they're coming out either this tunnel or this part. But this part seems like it's more of a an entrance for the spectators, whereas this one is definitely more of a tunnel-like area. But yeah, it's a, it, like I said, it it's pretty big. Like this particular terrace here normally I do about maybe nine or some of the other ones I'd bring it up to 13 because of how big they are but the terrace I never go past nine or seven at the biggest this was 11 and originally I was gonna have it 13 but as you can see it's pretty massive as it is so 13 would have just felt way too big and then over here we've got another terrace and it slopes down at the side and then this part of the terrace is over here is a little it's a little I suppose weird because you've got a gap and you've got a like a different terrace this terrace I think was added in new when it was being renovated so obviously that's why the gap is there but also it's got this little building here kind of suspended between the two. I think on the actual one though, like there's obviously there's like mounds or hills or it's all built up. But obviously because I don't do the outside, it just looks like it's suspended. And of course we've got our main stand. Uh, it looks a little weird with the grey because um, I'm not sure if it's I, pr I think it's benches but but I'm not sure what color they are because they looked all faded so I went with I was originally gonna go with dark gray but it looked too dark so I went with light gray instead and then these blue bits are definitely seating so these would be those are like I guess the premium seats and then along the back here we've got some windows to look out of and the glowstone to light it up because with the dark grey for the wall there and the light grey and there being no glass on the top of it it's a it was pretty dark so the glowstone really helped actually missing a few sections of carpet there right on the side here we've got some white stained glass because it's another one of those ones where it has like a glass corner to it. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool. And over here, we've got uh, another building. I didn't put any doors on it. I probably should have. So I imagine this is for. I'm not sure what it's for, but given that it has two levels, could be maybe commentary and analysis but that could also be that one there so I'm not 100% sure got the flags over here the scoreboard one of the few scoreboards where I can fit in the full names of both teams so their next match is against Mead in the Joe McDonough Cup and as I've said before this is all based on their hurling championship fixtures even though Kerry are the best are well no yeah Based on amount of all Ireland wins alone, Kerry are the best football team in the country. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing it based on the Hurlands, so their next match is against Mead in the Joe McDonough Cup. Because that's the competition they compete in in the Hurland, as well as Division 2A of the league. So, decent enough team in the Hurland, but a much better team in the football because they're in Division 1 and the Monster Championship and have the most 
all Ireland championships out of any of the counties in the football. So football is definitely Kerry's much stronger sport. So yeah, we'll just fly around, get a, another look at it. I'm re I'm really happy with this terrace just because of how big it is and like how cool it looks, especially if you're like if you're up here and you're looking along it. Or even if you're over in this corner gets a pretty good view as well because just just the angle looks really good. So yeah, not much more to talk about this stadium, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one.